Exploring the vast surface of Mars with robots presents challenges, but what might we learn from flying over the red planet? Motivated by this idea, four Rice University engineering students set out to design an automated flight control system for a Martian UAV. We would like to add redundancy in certain aspects of the operation of the autopilot. And so all of our sensors are on one board, and then we can just plug in multiple copies of that entire sensors board. We have right here the main computer board and then the three copies of the sensors board. And right now I've got it set up so that this thing will start asking these things for different pieces of data. And now I'm writing the code that will take the different pieces of data and use them to form a more coherent estimate of the state of the plane. We've written almost all of the code from scratch. Um, we have, you know, the, the basic algorithms for the autopilot, but then there's all sorts of low-level code to interface with the sensors and to communicate from one board to another and to handle other sort of housekeeping tasks. Can, can you give me any estimate of how much time you've spent writing code for this? Uh, <laughs> hundreds to thousands of hours. <laughs> That sounds reasonable. Yeah, right. yeah, these guys basically, left to their own devices, will just start writing code. Yeah, they have to be restrained in writing code. And what would you do, left to your own devices? Oh, left to my own devices? Uh, I'd probably write code, actually. <laughs> it still has some problems where it uh, kind of fishtails a little bit, and we try to uh, adjust the rudder sensitivity to deal with that, and it's unclear that really did any good. So we're going to go back and back to the simulator and work on that some more. Cool. That looks good to me. Uh, it's rolling. Okay, that's not. Quite... But look, it's correcting. See? Yeah, it is. It's just not going anywhere. Oh my! It's going into the wind. Yeah. I mean, that's look why at it's this. just hanging there. Yeah, it's it's really just hanging there. Yeah. That's hilarious. So it's just an unfortunate consequence of the fact that he chose the heading to be the particular yeah. direction uh -huh. that it's behaving like so. Yep. Well, look at that. It's, it's maintaining its current. It sure is. <laughs> That's beautiful.